A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, January 23rd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Hundreds of Port Jervis and Deer Park residents, among others, came out to celebrate the Chinese New Year on Sunday with dancers in costumes, food, and celebratory times. The third annual event was coordinated by the City of Port Jervis and its Tourism Board. Jin Pang of Deer Park is on the Tourism Board, and it was her idea to celebrate the Chinese culture and heritage. This year is the Year of the Rabbit, which she says connotes purity. We believe that, you know, the purity is such an important thing uh, for every of us. So we want a pure life, uh, we want a pure heart, and we want a pure, like, a, you know, like everything. So that's the purity that we, that's, we, we introduce, like, culturally to the community. Port Jervis City Councilwoman Maria Mann is the liaison to the Tourism Board. She said whether it's to facilitate local awareness, building community spirit, or supporting small businesses, the city strives as a team. Congressman and alumnus Pat Ryan was ceremonially sworn in at the U.S. Military Academy's Eisenhower Hall on Sunday for the 18th Congressional District. Ryan will serve as the first West Point graduate to ever represent the U.S. Military Academy's district in Congress. Ryan graduated from West Point in 2004, and he was nominated to attend four years earlier by then-Congressman Charles Schumer. Schumer is now the Senate Majority Leader, and he swore Ryan in during the ceremony, which was attended by hundreds of people. Ryan said, our democracy is at risk. We have to figure out how do we restore trust, and I think we do that by actually delivering for people infrastructure projects, easing the, the cost of, of everything at the grocery store and the gas pump, uh, and fighting for fundamental rights. So, yes, we have a lot, a lot of work ahead, but I, I'm confident if we, if we do the work, we can uh, start to rebuild that trust. When Ryan heads back to Washington, he'll work with his minority Democratic caucus and a Republican caucus that holds a very slim majority. Dorothy Ingracia, the retired town of Wallkill receiver of taxes, passed away last Thursday. Mrs. Ingracia had served in that post for over 24 years and was the administrative assistant to former town supervisor Dennis Cosgrove prior to being elected receiver of taxes in 1988. She was the mother of town clerk Louisa Ingracia and town public works commissioner Lou Ingracia, Jr., Sullivan County Legislator Alan Sorensen will not seek re-election this fall. Sorensen, whose full-time job is as Orange County Planning Commissioner, says he plans to spend more time with his family once his current term is completed. I'm just looking to kind of simplify my life a little bit and spend a little more time with my family. You know, I certainly am, am proud of my you know accomplishments up there, um, but... I am really focused, you know, on uh, on the, the work I'm doing here. Sorensen has served on the Sullivan County Legislature for 16 years, and on many issues, he's often the deciding vote. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The towns of Cornwall and Newburgh and the city of Middletown will share nearly $9 million to upgrade water infrastructure. Congressman Pat Ryan made the announcement. Aging infrastructure is a huge problem, leading to all kinds of of worry and anxiety, whether uh, your your young child in Newburgh is going to have clean water or your aging parent in Middletown is going to have clean water. Part of the city of Middletown's $3.45 million grant will go toward replacing water lines installed in 1887. The town of Newburgh will also receive $3.45 million, while the town of Cornwall will receive $1.65 million. 
State Assemblyman Jonathan Jacobson is blasting Central Hudson's response to last month's scathing Public Service Commission report. Central Hudson's response to the Public Service report would be laughable if its actions had not hurt so many people, the lawmaker said. As a result of the debacle, Jacobson has introduced legislation that would strictly limit the use of estimated bill and would prohibit back billing after two months. Republican Chris Rollison, the son of State Senator Rob Rollison, has announced his campaign for a seat on the Dutchess County Legislature. Rollison's father served as a county legislator, chairman of the legislature, and city of Poughkeepsie mayor prior to being sworn in as senator earlier this month. Chris Rollison is the grandson of the late state senator Jay Rollison. The 31-year-old is seeking to represent the people of the new 23rd Legislative District, which includes portions of the towns of Pauling, Beekman, and East Fishkill. As a, a police officer, I just want to extend my public service uh, to the best of my ability and try and help Dutchess County continue on the right path and, you know, control inflation the best that we can. And also, you know, as a police officer, knowing firsthand the effect of crime and what bail reform has done. Rollison currently serves as a sergeant with the Newcastle Police Department. Tommy, the pinball wizard of the Who's Rock Opera, would be proud of Middletown and Rock Fantasy, which was the host this past weekend of the state men's and women's pinball championship. The competition, held by the International Flipper Pinball Association, featured 24 men and 16 women vying for the top spot in the state. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.